Shifting from academia to entrepreneurship was something that was both the, the hardest thing I've ever done and also the most gratifying. Hi, my name is Erica. Uh, I'm the CEO of Precision Analytics. What we do is help companies in biotech and the life sciences and the pharmaceutical sector unify their data, take disparate sources from different departments, do advanced analytics, and create a communication tool that helps even non-technical users understand uh, sophisticated analysis and make real-world decisions. And so I've always been in the life sciences, and I always thought I wanted to stay as an academic and be a researcher, uh, but halfway through my PhD, I had a, an existential crisis, and I realized I didn't want to be an academic anymore, but I had no clue what I wanted to do. Through process of elimination, we kind of ended up at entrepreneurship, and I had no role models. Like, I didn't connect with that path at all at the time, but it sort of stuck with me. And then in parallel, I was actually offering tutoring services. And so I was building a clientele and like learning how to promote myself. Towards the end of the PhD, I joined forces with another student, um, Catherine Morrison. We sort of stumbled out of academia and accidentally started a business. At District 3, we were challenged all the time. <laughs> uh, we received one-on-one -on -one coaching with Edna which I can honestly say transformed the way we were and we were working. I think we started off as two people who had a good idea, we had traction, we had clients, but I wouldn't say we were a business. I think we had no strategy about how to gain new clients, how to market ourselves, and how to think about uh, the mission and vis vision and values that we were trying to build. One of the earlier questions that Edna helped us face was who, who are your clients? Are you your clients? Are we building tools to offer consultancy? Do we wanna build, build a tool that can be scaled? And so those were two very different businesses and she asked us really hard questions and tried to point out our blind spots. As a mentor, she was superb because she never told us the answer. She never, you know, kind of edged us in one direction or the next. It was still our decision. It was still the things that we valued that had to come first. But as a mentor, it was uh, an incredible experience and continues to be. If I were talking to scientists who were considering transitioning to uh, entrepreneurship, I would say you're going to love how hard it is. What you're going to find difficult is that every single time you get good at something, you're going to hand it off to someone else. And so you're going to constantly be in a state of feeling uh, unqualified. And so maybe that's very familiar for a lot of academics and living with uh, imposter syndrome. But this is going to be uh, 100x <laughs> imposter syndrome because now someone's going to ask you questions about accounting and marketing and business development and things of which you have basically no knowledge. I won't tell you how many times a day I Google how to do my job. And so that's really hard, but it's really wonderful. Okay.